the last fate review my fair review one of the last release games in 2023 new metroidvania came out and i finally found time to play and finish this pixel art marvel to put it short before i start with a breakdown the last fate is by far the best metroidvania of 2023 now let's rate it properly as it deserves <laughs> First section is the story. A rich story, great writing, but very confusing in return. Or should I say, Souls-like complicated story. I'm sick and tired of Souls-like story presentation in video games, to be honest. You will figure out the story along the way from item descriptions, notes and weird conversations with NPCs. To put it short now, stories about vampires and a spreading disease that you need to figure out. Plenty of different endings as well. Again, there is a great plot and world building in this game, but alas, how game delivers the story to the player is more than confusing. 7 out of 10 for the story. Next section would be game bugs and optimization. Not a single bug, glitch or a stutter. Non-existing loading screens, or should I say extremely fast loading screens, fast fast game and a smooth performance, responsive controls optimized to perfection and it will work on a toaster too, pure 10 out of 10. Next section would be game time. It took me 17 hours to finish the game or should I say to 100% the world map. Average game time will be from 12 to 20 hours, depends on the player of course, there is a zero replay value here. 27 bucks for this game is a a bit way too much but that's life during the unrelenting worldwide inflation. Very soon pixel art in this will be 50 bucks mark my words. All in all, 7 out of 10 for the game time. Next section would be game difficulty. No difficulty to pick from, one base difficulty is there. I've seen a lot of people complaining on this game difficulty, but truth to be told, it's easy to normalish hard game. Easy at the start, challenging during mid time and mega easy at late game. I killed most bosses on the first try with max 1-2 attempts per boss, including the final secret boss. Most of my deaths came from exploration, risky jumps and deaths from falling into traps while backtracking. 8 out of 10 for the game difficulty. Game really lacks proper challenge and I heard they plan to add new game plus in the future updates, so there is hope. Next section would be maps and graphics. Big big world map with amazing art style, a lot of detail and great gothic atmosphere. This is one great looking game. I enjoyed every minute in exploring and finding hundreds of secrets and hidden bosses. UI is crystal clear, mini map is pure perfection and you'll never get lost. This is one beautiful game. 10 out of 10 for maps and graphics. Next section would be gameplay. What is there to say about gameplay? It's classic old school metroidvania. Game is most similar to Blasphemous, only with Bloodborne atmosphere turned into pixel art side scroller. It has some symphony charm as well. So what do you do in this game? You will explore, loot, fight, double jump, jump dash, roll, parry, dodge, use plenty of different movesets and combos to eliminate enemies and bosses, and of course, backtrack. Backtrack a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. If you wanna see everything that is. So, use your map and attach those pins non-stop whenever you see something unique and peculiar, cause later on if you revisit you will find plenty of surprises. Two main problems with gameplay. Well, no TP option available and hideous backtracking with no run button on the character. In other words, this game swallows at least 3 to 4 hours from the player on backtracking only. Everything else was pure perfection and exactly how Metroidvania should be. It was fun and refreshing. 9 out of 10 for the gameplay. Next section would be leveling and itemization. Classic, kill, grab souls, or in this case they call it Nycrux, and you spend Nycrux to level up basic stats or upgrade weapons. You will find upgrade materials along the way, plenty of different spells, weapons both melee and ranged. For consumables it's classic, healing potions, boost damage resists or boost damage output. There will be a lot of items and NPCs that will give 
give additional options to see different endings along the way, and they will also require a lot of backtracking to achieve. No innovation here, just a classic Souls-like leveling approach in pixel art metroidvania. 8 out of 10 for leveling and itemization. Next section would be NPCs and enemies. Huge enemy variety in this game, and huge boss variety as well. Boss design is absolutely amazing, most of them have double phases and they can appear in peculiar places to surprise the player. NPCs are there to enhance your gear and to give you some info on what you should do next and what's happening in the world. Most of the NPCs will be in the main hub. You can tell the developers invested a lot of time to design enemies and especially bosses cause move sets of enemies are quite good for indie metroidvania. 9 out of 10 for NPCs and enemies. Last section would be music and sound. I gotta give them flowers here, this is a fully voice acted indie pixel art metroidvania. I repeat, fully voice acted, and what's even better, voice acting is very good. Music is also great, and sound effects are ground solid, 10 out of 10 for music and sound. Final verdict, we got 9 sections with 78 points, and that would be 8.6 out of 10 for the last fate, if and only if devs produce more content, more buses, bigger challenge, TP option and run button, with more clarification for the story and the plot, and with reduced price, I can easily say it's 9 out of 10 then. So, to put it short now, The Last Fate is for sure in top 20 metroidvanias of all time, the best metroidvania of 2023 and one of the better games in 2023 overall. It was smooth, fun, relaxing, responsive and what's most important, a very dark and gorgeous journey in the world of Last Fate. I recommend trying it out after price drops to below. 20 bucks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.